Alright, um, hey YouTube, um, this is Joe Parmer, uh, and this was my trades video. Um, this is what I'm trying to get rid of. Um, I will show you all it now. Right here we have for the Sega Saturn, um, NHL 97. And it's in pretty fair shape. Case is broke there, which it's common. The manual's great. Disc is basically near mint, um, just dusty. Okay, next we have for the Super Nintendo. Super Empire Strikes Back, as you can see, it's really decent shape. Some writing on this one, it's uh, Polk. Uh, a little dirty, but it can be cleaned up. I got Super Black Bass. Um, cart's in a little rough shape, like, it ain't horrible, it's just dirty. Um, back doesn't have stickers, it's just got all that residue on it. I just got that from someone. I'll clean it up though. Um, for the Nintendo 64, I have a Gex 64. Cart's a little dirty, but um, can be cleaned up. I also have Mario Party 2. It's faded right there a little. Um, overall, it's a good working game. Pokemon Snap. Got a little writing on it from an old friend, um, but it works. Super Smash Bros. got a little sticker residue right there yet, but overall, it works. I got Mario Kart 64. Really great shape. Got WCW NWO World Tour. Got WCW NWO World Tour again, so I got two of those. I got WCW and WO Revenge with some sticker residue at the top. A little writing on there, but 007 Goldeneye. Great game. I might hang on to that because I'm supposed to be having a box set for that. Um, Walleye Country Club. A true classic. And then Walleye Country Club, true classic again. And Twisted Edge Snowboarding. A little dirty. Little writing on some video game company you put a label there, but if you're careful enough, I'm sure you can remove it off there. Okay, and I will pause it right here so I can show you guys the rest. All right, I'm back again. Um, here's the uh, Genesis games that I have for trade. Bill Walsh. College football. Um, cases got some. What do you do? It looks like baked on dirt. I don't know. Um, it's a bigger case. Uh, game is in great shape. Manual is a little torn, as you guys can see. Um, overall, it is complete. Um, it's got another insert in there. Got a box copy of. NBA Jam that is complete. Um, cart is in really okay shape. It looks like it's peeling a little, but nothing bad. The little glue won't fix. I got NFL Football 94. This is not complete. The cart is in pretty rough shape. Well, if someone just wants it for the case, um, they can have it. Case is a little torn there. Um, I got a complete box copy of uh, NHL 96. The game is in great shape. You get the manual, the, all the little cards, even like the Champ Sport card, um, which is really nice. Um, let's see. I got NBA Live, um, it's got 
like sticker residues all over. I tried to clean it up, but I didn't get much further. This is peeling at the top, but it's a really good look, working game. Team USA Basketball. I got the Lion King. It's in really great shape. I've got Aladdin. Got a little $3 thing on there. Nothing that a Magic Erase won't get off. A little faded, but overall in great shape. I've got Baseball Tonight. Um, I actually bought two games at the same time and didn't realize I bought the same game. So this one's up for trade. It's a little rough. Um, Pat Riley Basketball, really great shape. Game works. All my games are tested and working. Mortal Kombat, uh, it's a little torn there. Um, if someone wants to clean it up. This is a no-label Mortal Kombat. Um, I'm positive it's Mortal Kombat, but I'm uh, not like, going to lie or nothing. Um, I got Ren and Stimpy show Nintendo. The Stimpy's Invention. It's in really rough shape. Got some $2 marker on it. Um, all over it. I hate when people do that. I know you all do too. A little marker there, but... Spider-Man slash X-Men Arcade Revenge. Great freaking game. Got a little $2 mark there, but I bought that from a friend, not realizing I already had it in the box. Um, I think um, this game, Lion King, great shape. Another copy of it. Madden 96. I do got, nope, I think I got the manual for this sitting on the floor over there. I don't know if anyone needs that with the manual. Football 94, which actually I'll probably throw this one in the box because it's nicer. And so I'll just toss that there. 94 Joe Montana Football, another copy. I get a lot of these games. College Slam. Uh, it's starting to peel up there, nothing major. Jeopardy. Good, clean working order. Um, Wheel of Fortune, clean. Jurassic Park, Rampage, just, just a little peeling up at the top there. Nothing major, a little missing of the label. Um, good, clean order. Six pack, really, really rough shape. Hmm. NFL 95, great, great game. RCA Pro racing on its torn right there in the corner well I don't know where you guys can see it but other than that it's got a little ding there clean really clean cart really good working order Batman forever peeling a little right there nothing major um, NBA Jam tournament edition uh, good clean order I'm gonna pause this again and show you guys what else I have so bear with me. Let's get back into this now. Um, I've got for the Intellivision. I just got these from Retro Gamer Sam. I didn't realize I already had them in the box, but um, yeah, um, mistakes happen sometimes when you don't look at your stuff. I've got Star Strike, Space Armada, and Triple Action. They all work. Um, I've tested them. Um, these games I got up for trade. Combat. Space Invaders. Really clean. Joust. Really clean. Yars Revenge. Really clean. Pac-Man. I think it's a little dirty. Um, that could just be the label. I don't know. Peeling a little. Miss Pac-Man. It's in pretty rough shape right there, dented where the screw is and that's peeling. Um, that's a little dirty but you can clean it up. And then I got a big box of games. You've got Warlords. Really nice, clean. Defender. Pretty rough shape but it works. 
home run baseball. A little dirty, but it works. Tennis. I got a little sticker on there. Clean. Basketball. Clean. Golf. Decent shape. Um, asteroids. It's peeling a little bit, but it works. Another copy of Yard's Revenge. Hangman. Clean. Pele Soccer. Joust. Another copy. Mountain King. Um, it looks like it's the labels might be coming a little loose, but it's a CBS Electronics game. Othello. Clean. Um, Star Raiders. Got a little sticker on it. Um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Pretty clean. Just got a little, you know, indent there. Raiders of the Lost Ark again. Clean. Spider Man. Really clean game. Um, Vanguard. Centipede. A little rough there, as you can see. Star Wars. The Empire. Oh, don't drop it. Empire Strikes Back. Really clean. Cannon Bomber. Um, Missile Command. Golf, again. Star Raiders. Star Raiders. Breakout. Video Truckers. Cubert, missing the top part of the label, but it works. Video pinball is peeling a little. A little rough there, but it works. Less than the top label, video pinball. Pac-Man. Rough shape, but it's good. Um, Outlaw. They're both in decent shape. Outlaw again. Decent shape. Pitfall. Um, it's the Activision cartridge, as you can see. Pitfall again. Street Racer. A little dirty on some of them. But they work. This would be... Frogger! Um, as you can see there, it's missing the label. Ice Hockey. Clean. Slot Racer. Clean. Combat. Surrounded. Uh, Air and Sea Battle missing the top level. Um, breakout. And Haunted House really clean. E.T. A horrible game, but if you guys really want to try and play it, go for it. Video Olympics. Space War. Really great game. And then, um, Sword Quest Earth World. Really clean. And then the manuals I got. Oh, there's the thing off video checkers. I got the manuals for Star Raiders. Star Raiders, if you want a game of manual. Golf. Missile Command. Super Breakout. And Cannon Bomber. Um, I'm going to just stop the video here, guys, and um, I'll make a video here in a sec about my uh, NES collection, so um, thanks, thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know if there's anything you guys want. Thanks. Bye.